ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna show you guys how to build a custom deck for your car by custom i mean this car had a regular um just a regular radio factory radio so i'm putting in this two-face radio the big screen so with the factory radio it was about this small and it fit right right here what i did was i cut out the plastic made the circle but i didn't just cut the plastic out um this plastic while you see it's so square is the face cover that go around here so what you do after you cut the plastic you put the face cover on position it how you like it nice and straight you add tape on this side of it just some regular painter's tape just the other side so you can see how it's cut see how it's all cut up and it looked crazy but on the other side it looked pretty straight right so what you want to do after you do this you just want to add some um epoxy fiberglass resin anything you can to make that hard so i'm gonna add that all in between here so you see how it's all messed up but that face plate for the actual radio make it look straight let me turn it around to the other side for you but on this side it looks straight so after you add the fiberglass resin i'm gonna do that right now and show y'all how it look outside of the truck because i don't want to mess the inside up so i'm just using some regular fiberglass resin the top to it and the mixer and what i'm gonna do is mix a little and pour it in here around and let me show y'all. I actually mix way more resin than what I needed. But as you can see, it is in every corner and it's spilled out. So I want to make sure I clean it up. So I'm going to sit this in the sun and let it dry. And I'm going to use this resin for the top part of the truck, of course. Don't want to waste Let anything. that sit for a little while with the fiberglass mm, resin in there. let that sit for a little while you just flip it over and remove the tape So when you remove your tape, this is what it should look like. As you can see, it filled in all of those cracks. If you don't like the shape of it, you can always sand it down, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna add some body filler on these sides and up here to make it look a little better sand it down but as you can see it's nice and smooth the how I got this shape like that is how you position your tape you push your tape in this course is going to become out pushed in this piece of tape right here it actually Got some resin on top of the tape. That's fine. I'm just add a little bondo right here, and right here, and up here on the sides. Sand that down nice and smooth, wet sanded. Fill that in because I'm not gonna do a push to start on this car. I'm gonna just fill this in, and yeah, it's gonna look awesome. And then I'm gonna spray it. I thought I bond it and wet sand it and give it a complete spray i'm not sure what color yet okay i sanded it down pretty nice and smooth to how i want it 
the shape I want it to look. It's inside the car. So it's gonna be nice and smooth. Now it's time to wet sand. You don't gotta wet sand if you don't want to, but I am because I was using 60 grit sandpaper. All these scratch marks when you wet sand with some finer grit, probably like 200 grit sandpaper, is going to get it nice and smooth. Gotta fix that. But when I wet sand, that's gonna come out. Let me show you how it's gonna look. Hey. We know. 